So I've prepared my walls now. I'm going to paint them with the Santex Ultra Smooth Masonry Paint. First thing I'm going to do is actually cut in around all the corners and the edges. And one tip is actually use a regular small brush because that will give you much more control when you're cutting in. And then when you're ready, you can move on to the large surface area. Well, I've cut in now using the brush, so I'm going to use the roller now just to get the large surface area done. One interesting thing when you're thinking about rollers is obviously just using the right pile. In this case, I'm using a medium pile, which would be ideal for this fine texture on this surface. Uh, when you're using a roller, one of the problems you sometimes encounter is getting all that spatter on your face. Just basically what I would suggest you do is actually put the pressure on, on the upward stroke when the roller is rolling into the surface. Just take that off when you're coming back, and then you'll reduce that spray on your face. You can use a brush or a roller to apply your masonry paint. However, rollers are most popular for covering large areas. You can even attach an extension pole to cover those hard to reach areas. Now when working at height, a scaffolding platform allows you to work safely. And these can be hired from your local hire stations. <laughs> 